Welcome to my next video. This is a continuation on from my last video involving how to set up a DAISY server responsibly. In this video we're going to be covering how to change the map and add mods to your server. So if you followed along with my last video you should end up with something like what we have here on screen. You should have a private test server and it should look something like this with two folders, server config, server files and a couple of batch files as well. So to start with we need to go to Steam, DAISY, workshop and we need to find Pripyat. Pripyat Gamma is the latest version of this map so we're going to choose that and scroll down and look at the required items section we can see here that it requires another mod called GSC Game World Assets so we click this and we will subscribe to this I'm already subscribed so I don't need to do that once you've done that, make sure you also subscribe to Pripyat Gamma. Again, I'm already subscribed, so you don't need to do that. Let's open up our launcher and find the file. Right click on the file, open folder, understand, and copy this folder, GSC Game World Assets, and put this in your server files folder of your server. Paste it here. We want to do the same thing with Pripyat Gamma, which is right here, Pripyat Gamma, copy him, paste it in here. But now while this is pasting, we will copy the name of this mod, go back to your start server batch file, or if you're renting a server, look for whatever file is responsible for this for starting your server and choosing the mods. At the very end you'll have the parameter dash mod equals. Right click here and paste the name in so it looks like this. Dash mod equals at GSC space game world space assets closing parenthesis. Um, put a semicolon here because we're going to put another mod after it and that will be the gamma one. So copy the gamma name. Now Remember that in Steam, GSC Game Worlds was a required add-on for Pripyat Gamma. Now that means in this order we need to we need to put GSC Game World assets first and then Pripyat Gamma second. Otherwise it just won't work because Pripyat Gamma needs access to content contained in GSC Game World assets mod. So we will save this now. Saved, great. Minimize that. Now we just got to put the keys in. So in the keys folder of the mod, copy it, go back to your server's keys folder. And you know what? You won't have all of this. So let me just delete all of these. Okay, yours will look like this. So just paste it in here and then do the same thing for Pripyat Gamma. Copy it and paste it. Now we need to find the mission files find the mission files, let's go to the workshop and see what they say. Oh, open web page. They're on GitHub, so we'll just go to the GitHub and we'll download them. Click on the green button, download zip. And that's downloaded. Open the archive that you just downloaded and open your servers server files directory mp missions folder and copy the server mission .pripyat folder and put it directly in the mp missions file like this that's all you need to do for that and now copy this open the server dz.cfg file Scroll all the way down to the bottom where you have class missions, class daisy, template equals. Now change the daisy offline .chinaris plus to server missions .pripyat so that it matches the new mission file you just put in there. You can give your server a name, a password, an admin password, any other settings in here you would like to change, do that now. Click save and you can close that. We've got the mods loaded here so we can close the bat file as well mission file is in the MP missions folder all the keys for both of the mods we've added are in here and the mods themselves are in here as well so now it's just a case of 
running the bat file to, to launch the server. So let's do that now. Okay, that's loading up now. So now we'll just go to our launcher, make sure that we have the correct mods selected. In our case, we're using GRC Game World Assets and the Pripyat Gamma. I think the launcher automatically does this if you're if you have a hosted or a rented server. But because I'm doing this locally, uh, I've got to put the parameters in for my local IP address and the port and the password here. But you shouldn't need to do that. You just need to worry about this. This part here, selecting your mods. Find the server in the community one, uh, community tab here, or the LAN tab, whichever one you are hosting. For me, everything's all set up for me to directly connect to my server, so I just gotta click play. Excuse me while I take a fix. Now we have the beautiful Pripyat loading screens. So far, so good. And here we are inside Pripyat. It's night time right now because my server always starts at night time. Yours will probably be daytime or whatever, whatever you set it to. But yeah, this is Pripyat. Everything's working. To verify everything is working, we will open our server configs folder and inside here, make sure you don't have anything that says crash or anything like that. If you have anything that says crash, crashlog.txt, something like that, you've got a problem. Also go to app data, local, daisy and check here for a crash file as well. 533, that's from a different yeah, that's from VPP admin tools, which I'm not even using. So that's not from this server. That's from a different server. Um, so yeah, everything's good here. There's no crash log on the client or the server. And you're ready to host for other players.